<clears throat> Yo, what's up guys? <clears throat> Alright, listen, here's the update. We can't do the 24-hour cam, someone fucking stole all my shit in the RV. They stole my cameras, they stole, they stole two webcams, and they stole my laptop. And they fucking egged the RV. And they stole Adrian's bag full of his shit. <clears throat> and like did and like just fucking wrote fucking dog shit all over the RV. And if you think I'm lying, you could see that we were out streaming all day. And when we came back, Grimoire said, "Oh, look, they fucking wrote this." And I told her to shut the fuck up because I don't want to give attention to it. But now I have no choice because you stole my shit. So. Come back. Oh, look at that on the door. Wow, great meme. Fucking, we know where that came from. Fucking trash. Oh, look, another one. Fucking, look at that shit. Amazing. Oh, look, eggs on the windshield. Fucking fantastic. All over the place. Amazing. <clears throat> and then, oh, look, another one right there. Wow, you're five years old. And then we fucking tried to peel that one off, but it didn't come off. Fantastic. So, you know... Listen, <clears throat> if you, you know, do that kind of shit, I understand if people hate me, sure, whatever, you know, I don't, I don't want to, you know, I don't do content that some people want to see, sure, maybe you're mad that I'm, you know, trying to make my, make myself have a better life, sure, understood, I get it, you know what, I understand, you know, maybe I'm boring, this and that, you know, and blah, 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 dead streamer, whatever. You don't have to do that shit. That laptop had a lot of important shit on it that is special to me, uh, you know, and a lot of just shit on it that is just, you know, if you lose your laptops, like, pretty bad, because you got a lot of work and things on it, so... It's just fucking annoying. And then, you know, I don't even care, you know, about the monetary value. It's just the things that are on it. It's just, like, annoying, dude. I have, like, a bunch of, like, passwords, notes, and all this other shit on it. So, <clears throat> pictures and fucking, you know, things like that. So, I don't know. I mean, obviously, the laptop's also $2,000. So, <laughs> that kind of sucks dick. But... <clears throat> Obviously, the person who took my shit is watching and lives around here. Fucking. You're not gonna give it back, obviously, but. You know, that's fine. You don't really need to. <clears throat> because. You know, you obviously need it more than I do. And there's some people that are promoting this behavior, saying, good, glad that happened, this and that. It's very sad. It's unfortunate. And those people need to grow the fuck up. Um, you know, even before I came out on this European trip, there's a lot of people on a certain, in a certain place saying to egg me and cause harm to me and this and that. Throwing eggs at me, sure, whatever. That's one thing. It's kind of shitty, but, you know, it's whatever. Causing harm to me, causing harm to things that I own, vandalizing my shit. You're a piece of crap. You're a piece of shit if you do that. You don't do that to somebody even if you hate them. Especially when that person goes out of their way, set up the whole fucking thing to try to entertain you. You know what I mean? Like, sure. You're not entertained by what I do. Whatever. Like I said, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. I mean, we already called the police, but they said that we have to wait till the morning to actually report it. Police aren't going to do anything. doesn't matter. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, these cam they probably have cameras, like, here, right? Like, or whatever, like, on this building. But... I mean, we're, we're going to report it in the morning, don't get me wrong, but come on, it's like, just fucking annoying. We also have this one. Alright, we have this camera, right there. So, we'll look at the footage, but it's like, I don't know. 
Dude probably had a mask on, so it's not like it really matters. And no, I thought we locked the door. I was almost certain that we locked the door. Maybe I'm wrong. You know, I have to go back and look at the VOD. Maybe I'm wrong, but when we came to the RV on the stream, I'm pretty sure we locked the door. But, you know, I obviously am wrong, so... I'm trying to remember the last place I left the laptop. I'm pretty sure I left the laptop on the table as the last place. Was it on the table during the stream? When we came back to the RV. Or when we, when we, when we did the tour of the RV. I don't know. Anyone who's saying lies in the chat, I don't really give a shit, to be honest. Why the fuck would I not want to make $5,000 a night doing a 24-hour camera? <laughs> You're retarded if you say it's fake. Yeah, let me just not make money because I want to go off stream. Like, bro, I fucking spent a bunch of money on this trip so far. Why would I not want to make money? So, obviously, that's false. Yeah, it was on the table when you gave for Yeah, I mean, whatever. I'm trying to finesse for bar money. Yeah, I know, dude. I'm trying to finesse for money, bro. I fucking... My donations aren't even on, dude. You fucking... Goddamn. You know... <laughs> for all the people who support my shit, I love you. I appreciate it. But things like this and people in chat saying dumbass fucking shit make me not want to stream. It makes it very, very hard to want to go out of my way to have a good fucking time. When I could just stay home and do nothing, and enjoy my fucking life. You know, it just annoys the fuck out of me. And it's really just fucking terrible, because there's people that do support my shit. <laughs> but, you know, shit like this happening makes it really fucking hard. Alright. Yeah, I called the police, dude. They said I have to wait till the morning to report it. Um, yeah, I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to buy another laptop. I've already spent a fuckload of money on this trip. I can't buy a fucking another laptop. I mean, I can, but it's not in my budget. Um, I mean, can I afford it? Yeah, I can afford a laptop. But do I want to buy a laptop and spend an extra $2,000 for no reason? No, I don't. That's not what I want to do. I have the whole trip budgeted. I don't want to break the budgeting. You know, like I have a certain amount of money I want to spend on the trip. I don't want to break that. Will I make the money back doing the fucking 24-hour cam? Yeah, sure. But... I don't know. I don't fucking know, dude. I'm just so... I'm just so pissed right now. You have no idea. I'm just so fucking pissed, dude. It's not the viewer's fault. You know, it's not the viewer's fault, but you know whose fault it is? And people will say, like, this and that, my fault. I don't, you know, it, that's toxic. Listen, it's not even the fault of the individual. It's the fault of an entire group. of make this entire group who creates a mentality to promote people doing shitty-ass behaviors. All right? If whoever has that lab t laptop posts a picture of him with the laptop, guess what? He'll probably get 500 upvotes on Reddit, and he'll get fucking attention from it. Because there's people that promote that shitty fucking behavior, you know, and that's what they're doing. That's what they're going for. So, people, you know, in a certain community promote that behavior. And I know they promote it because... Yesterday, there were fucking posts about, you know, egg me, do, cause harm to him, do this, do that, you know, fuck this guy, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, it's not somebody who just wanted to steal the shit for money. It's a mentality that he had, a, you know, gotten from a group of shitty ass people who created that mentality. And I'm just extremely extremely mad right now and pissed off
<clears throat> and I know it was for attention because they wrote the fucking stupid notes on the car and they egged the shit. So, you know, they did that on purpose. So they knew, you know, who did it. So that's what it's all about. It has nothing to do with the guy stealing the laptop for money. They also took Adrian's fucking shit. So, you know, why the fuck would you take Adrian's shit? They left his laptop, though. But it's like a... I don't know, some else shit, dude. I don't know. Fucking... It's just so disgusting. I hate it so much. Yo, Adrian. Yo, come here. Yeah. <clears throat> There's, I don't, one of these doors were, were not locked. Front ones, I think. Yeah, you didn't lock the door. I locked the door. You did not lock the door. There's no way. <laughs> if they're open. Come on. Come on, dude. No. Like, it was all checked. I swear to God, people are when like... When I came back, I had the keys shit. and I unlocked the door. So it's that means locked. that I locked it when I left. So unless somebody went out one of these doors and then left it unlocked when we left... I just don't understand how somebody could get inside. I'm not saying it's your fault. It's not. You kind of are. Well, that's not what I meant. I'm just pissed. Yeah, no, I feel you. I'm pissed too. I just, I'm trying to figure out how somebody could get inside. That's all. So, I mean, what did they, what did they take from you? Uh, they took my bag, which has all my clothes and my glasses and my contacts. So that's the thing that sucks the most. I don't know what I'm going to do because I have one day contacts in and I won't be able to see tomorrow. So fuck you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You think that, it was, it was open. but no, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think that because how would you get out? If you're in, how do you get out? And it was my laptop on the table when we came here earlier. When I converted the was, the bed. Was, yeah, absolutely. Or was where did I put it when I took it off the table to convert to the bed? Your laptop is on one of these tables. Did I take my laptop off this table and put it on this one? I mean, either way, either, either way, it doesn't matter. I know this shit's stolen. Because I had the fucking cable plugged into the car to charge it, and it's, the cable's gone, so... Obviously. Have we checked that lock to see if it's, like, fucked check, up? We'll check what? Like, the outside lock. On this door? Yeah. It looks fine to me. I don't know. I think one of the front... I don't know. I'm just surprised that they didn't vandalize the inside of it. I don't know. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. What's that noise? That's all. I don't know. Disgusting. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. And you know, shit like this is exactly one of the reasons why I'm trying to reform my content because I don't want to entertain degenerates who do that shit. You know, I want to entertain good people and surround myself with good people. You know, like everyone who's in the RV. 
and you know, some people post on Twitter, you have fucking boring cast, this and that. Obviously not, as you could see by tonight. Either way, it doesn't matter. Good people, you know, surround yourself with good things, good things happen. But there's still degenerates in this fucking world. Whatever. It's fine. Anyone who supports my shit, I appreciate you. I probably will end up buying a new laptop, to be honest, because I'll just make the fucking money back. Anyways, it's just annoying as fuck, because I, obviously it's not even... It's just losing, you know, the files and things that I have on my computer. It just sucks dick. But okay, I'm done complaining, so I'll see y'all later, I guess. Or like tomorrow or whatever. <clears throat> okay, goodbye. Let me see. Okay, hold on. What is all this? Okay, keep blaming it on the agenda, bud. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to, uh... Okay, thank you. <laughs> I love you, it's been the same since Purple Army. Thank you, dude. If you ever need help, I'm one hour away. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Fuck the haters seeing your shit. I would give you more cash when I'm broke. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Listen, I, I'm just gonna say this. I don't like bringing attention to this dumb shit because it's stupid as fuck, but I'm gonna say this. No normal person supports communities on Reddit that are dog shit disgusting. I would hope not, at least. Remember, you support fucking degenerate communities, you support shit like this. And I just hope that most of you have good judgment on what you want to surround yourself with. I'm sure most of you do. Some people in the chat are clearly lost individuals who, you know, I don't know, are just lost in life and <clears throat> end up going to degenerate ass behavior. So, in that case, you know, I hope you can do better. All right, well, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Love you. And, uh, yeah, see you later. I mean, I, I don't know. I, don't, I, just, I just don't know what to do. I'm just so, I'm just so mad, dude. I'm so, like, I'm not, like, I'm kind of still drunk. And, like, I smoked weed, so I'm kind of high. I just, I'm just, it's so uncomfortable of a feeling. I just don't know, man. Listen, I'm going to keep ranting. I'm just going to keep ranting. I really, for the past couple months, have been working my butt off to try to just get the fuck away from tr toxic shit and trash. And it's just so disgusting that that shit just follows me. I hate it. Did I create the toxic trash in the beginning? And, you know, off the bat originally? Yeah, I did. But you know what? People can change and move the fuck on. Let me move the fuck on. Leave me the fuck alone. You know what I mean? If you're into that toxic shit, leave me the fuck alone. Like, you have other options. Go fucking do your other options. I don't want to... I don't want any part of it. I, I don't. Like, like, okay, all because I created something doesn't mean I have any part of it nowadays. And, it, and I don't want any part of it. I, I don't. I, like, I don't want any of that, man. I just want to, like, stream and fucking entertain people. And that's it. And not have to deal with shit. Because at the end of the day, communities like that are extremely self-destructive. And I know people who are in those self-destructive communities probably have very bad lives. And you know, if being in that kind of shit takes you out of your terrible life to make you feel better. I understand. I do. Because you know what? I've been there. I've done that. I, I was the same way. But when you're so self-destructive, you're going to end up destroying the thing you do to get away from your shitty life. And then you're going to... Then what do you have? You have nothing. 
I've been self-destructive. I understand. You know what I mean? If you don't put boundaries on yourself, you're going to lose the thing that you do to get away from your shitty life. And then guess what? You have to deal with your shitty life. So, that's my advice to those people. I mean, that's basically it. And doing stuff on the internet is one thing. Trans it translating into real life becomes a real issue for me. And I'm not going to obviously let that stand. And, you know, I action will obviously be taken. <clears throat> you know, I don't care if people shitpost about me on the internet. I do care about when it translates into real life. You know, things, you know, actions obviously need to be taken in that case because now it's, you know, I'm, I'm, harm is being caused to me. So. <clears throat> and honestly, the fact that Reddit allows such a thing such a mentality to thrive on, as a community is disgusting. It's completely disgusting. And, you know, obviously, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's not even, it's not even, it's not freedom of speech or any of that shit. It's, it's just like trying to cause harm on me. That's just sociopathic behavior. You, well, like, there's no re like, why ca why do you want to cause me harm? Because you don't like my content? Because I've lied in the past about going live? Like, dude, come on. <laughs> like, just don't watch the stream. You don't have to cause me harm. And yeah, somebody stealing my $2,000 laptop with all of my shit on it is harmful. I would much rather get punched in the face than somebody steal my fucking laptop. You know, egg the RV, I don't give a fuck. That's, you know, I don't want you to do that. But if, if it was just that, uh, it was just like, whatever, just clean it. But this is, like, disgusting. I don't know. I gotta just watch the vibe from earlier. I just need to, like, see what was going on or, like, what happened or something. I don't know. I'm just also sad. You know, I went on this trip with all these guys to try to put some enjoyment into my life because I've been pretty bored lately. And I just wish the people involved in watching the streams, I wish everybody wanted to also have a good time. Unfortunately, there's a handful of people who prefer to you know, do shit like this and not want to have a good time because their life is sad. But, you know, whatever. Alrighty. Listen, for anybody who donated, I appreciate it. But, you know, I have them paused right now, so I'm sorry. But I will shout out, gang gang, love you bro, stay up, thank you dude gang, I appreciate it bro. <clears throat> Prison of the mind, thank you as well. And everyone else. Yeah, thank you dude. Gang Gang came in with the $50, so I appreciate it, bro. And this guy in the chat, he never blames himself for anything. Why the fuck would I blame myself for some idiot stealing my laptop? That has nothing to do with me. And anyone who says, 
that it's karma, like it's my mistakes that caused this, you're a fucking retard. No, it's he wants fucking clout from some dumbass fucking degenerate ass community, and you know who that caused harm to me. It's obvious, you know what I mean? It's obvious. It's mental fucking illness. That's what it is. You know, I shouldn't have leaked the RV. You know, I should have just not given a tour of the RV. Why? I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have given, you know, I shouldn't have done that. I, sh I shouldn't have put so much trust into the world. But, you know, that doesn't mean you should just go steal someone's shit. Because you... You, you can. Someone stole my laptop on a road trip recently as well. It wasn't expensive, but I feel violated. Keep your head up, bro. Dude, it's, it's awful. It sucks that it happened to you, too. Yeah, I don't know, dude. It's Like I said, it's not even the monetary thing value. It's just the fucking... The lack of respect and you know, my shit on my computer. Alright, thank you, Mark. Alright, I'm gonna go. Fucking, I appreciate y'all listening to me rant. I'm just pissed as fuck, so I'll see you, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright? So, see you later. And... Goodbye.